Hi everyone, I always get asked the question, which salmon do I buy at the market? Well, there's three main types, wild, king, and Atlantic salmon. And I'm gonna give you a few tips and pointers on what to look for and how to prepare it. All right, let's talk fish. So this is the Atlantic salmon right here. Nothing wrong with it, it's just a cheaper fish that you can get consistently anywhere you go. Um, the color's okay, you know, it's a little bit opaque, kind of what you're looking for. Um, the issues that I have with this is that it has a lot of bloodline on it because I bought this pre-portioned and has the skin already off. Um, in the restaurants, we would trim this all off ahead of time. Um, there's still a couple pin bones in here, so if you don't have fish tweezers, um, you're gonna spend a little bit of time trying to get those out. Uh, and the portions, yes, they're both right around five ounces, but I mean, you can see the, like, the difference in the size of those. Um, I just told them to give me two pieces. I wanted to see what they would give me, and this is kind of what I ended up with. Now we're gonna move on to this king salmon right here. Uh, this is from the Pacific Northwest, as is most wild salmon. Uh, and you can see the color is completely a little, well, it's not completely different, it's a little different than this one, but it's definitely less translucent as the other one. Um, you can look, there's a little bit of natural fats in there but this one's gonna have omega-3 fatty acids. And if you look at this one, um, these are just having to be two pieces that I saw. I was like, okay, let me see the difference. This one's definitely like more uniform in color. It's, it's kind of like this matte salmon color that we're kind of used to seeing. Um, and this one's starting to turn a little bit white. There's nothing wrong with that. There's actually a genetic anomaly with the king salmon um, where they are white. If you can ever find them, the ivory king salmon are just, they're just delicious. Um, but these have the omega-3 fatty acids in there. I like getting the fish skin on. Um, I don't eat the salmon skin, but it gives me an opportunity to better trim off the belly fat, which is what we'll get into there. All right, this is a great eating fish. All right, and this is the coho salmon. This is the last one that I have on the plate. Look at this deep, dark, rich orange color that's on there. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of fish. Um, for me, when I cook in the restaurant, this is gonna give me like two nice portions because I'm gonna split it right down, down the side there. Um, versus like the Atlantic salmon where it's, it's just, this isn't how we portion it in the restaurant, some do, but that's not how I've always done it. Um, still has the skin on, which is fine for me because I like skinning my fish. You still have to pay for it anyway. And I just like being in control of that because then I can make sure that I take all the belly fat off, things like that. These are two, all great fish. These two are probably my favorite. This one is, you know, if you're on a budget, you can stick with that one but to have a nice fish treat every once in a while, I would go with these two. All right, so now we're gonna talk about three little things to look for when we're purchasing all three of these. When you're getting the, the Atlantic salmon, make sure that you try to get pieces that are all uniform. If you can get the skin, get the skin, but if you can't, it is, it is what it is. But just try to get pieces that are all the same so that way when you're cooking, they're all gonna cook evenly. King salmon, again, like even this bloodline, this is, it should be a little bit darker than that. You want to, again, they're, they're probably gonna sell this pre-portion. Just make sure they're all right around the same size, which these two are. This is kind of not what we really wanted to look for. You can tell that fish wasn't handled too well. And then you get to the coho. And then for me, this is, like I said, this is a beautiful piece of fish because we can just cut this in two and have like two really nice portions out of this fish. All right, so let's start with portioning the coho salmon. What we're gonna do is look and identify, like this is the center of the fish. This is where all the, you know, where the backbone runs down there. And then pin bones will usually run like right around here. So what I do is I look for this and say, okay. So we have about a fish that's about four fingers wide. This one's always gonna be a little bit thicker. So somebody might get a little bit nicer of a fish, but I just try to go like right down the middle here. So there's that. And again, see how we have this, this bloodline right there. We can just trim that off. You know, if you want your, if you want your skin on fish, then I would leave it like that. So now you just have a little bit on there, but I don't like having that on my fish. So. I'm just gonna go, kind of just run right down there. And get it all off. It doesn't have to be a race, we don't have to do two pieces. So, so it's more about making sure that we did it properly. And there's a little bit on there, it's not that big of a deal. But we wanna get most of that off. So there's one nice piece. Same thing here. I'm gonna go find where that is. Just make this cut right here. You go and then for the restaurants because this is going to be the belly side and see how it gets a little bit thin there so just cut that off and i save those 
you know, put them in some soup or something like that if you want. Now we get into the king salmon. So feel around for pin bones. There aren't any in here, which is fine. And then all we want to do is just go like this. There's that. See? Again, like this is where that fish is a little bit bigger. So in a restaurant, we would probably just like, we would, we would portion it a little bit differently, but let's go back and take this part out because nobody really wants to eat that. It's like when you cook it afterwards, you can end up just scraping that off with a spoon if you really want to. You don't have to worry about doing it with a knife, that one. And then same thing here. So we noticed that like this is gonna fall off unfortunately but we'll just have a little snack when we're when we're cooking afterwards i'm going to show you another way to do this instead of doing the other way this slice right down here this one's tough because it's just not the best quality uh, that's the issue when you're buying it at the markets first buying from a fishmonger. You know, I have, I have some really good trusted people that I use for buying my fish. I just stick with those guys all the time. I just wanted to go to the market and see what I could get. And luckily I have a market that has a few different kinds of fish, but just want to show you three different examples. And I, I'm sure they'll, if you ask them to do this for you there, they'll skin it and everything. but. You know, you still want to touch everything up because you don't, you don't really know how well they're going to do it. But there we go. I'll trim that off. So this is like, ends up, once you get that fat off of there, it ends up being not that big of a piece. You know, you can cut this in half. It'll be a little bit easier to, to cook. And then, you know, when you cook it, you just like stack it on top. It'll look pretty. People will be happy with it. And then this piece right here, you don't really want to eat this. You want to take that fat off of there, so it's not going to do you any justice. And then just feel around, like I said, there were pin bones in there. You can always just do it this way. Just kind of pull it off with your knife. Okay. Here you go, and then for me, in the, you know, it's not good to waste it, but let's just trim it up and make it just like a look a little bit nicer. So you have like a decent piece of salmon on there. And again, like when you look at this, it just has like all the same amount of fat. It's just, that just has to do with the diet that it was fed. To just pump the food so much full of fats to just get it to bulk up as quick as possible. Um, this probably grows, you know, within two years, it's, it's almost up to size where they want it to be as where the kings might take three to four years and the coho a little bit smaller fish about the same, so. There you go. So now let's look at our three right here so we can see the portions. And they're all close in size, those two. Here's the Atlantic. And then our coho. And if, when you put them all next to each other, it's like you can really see the difference between all three. You know, again, these two would be my top picks. And then this one is, there's nothing wrong with this. This is an everyday fish. So I hope this video helped you decide which salmon was right for you. Give me a thumbs up if you found value in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned for the next video. See you next time.